She's energetic without being rambunctious. A great thing. <laughs> Make it first and pause. Recently brought into our studio your cat of the week. Who have you brought this morning? This is Little Bit. Little Bit is about five months old. She's fixed. She's vetted. She is. We don't really know exactly what. She's kind of this tabby, torty mix. And look at her pretty little eyes. Oh, oh my gosh. She's just so sweet. It's like your pupils are naturally huge. I know. She's just got this adorable, <laughs> it's almost like cartoon-like cat features. She's just so sweet and so fun. Um, she's really energetic. So if you want a, a cat that's got some energy, you know, she's still in her kitten year. Um, yeah. But she's not noisy. She doesn't really care. Carry on. She just wants to play. She just purrs. <laughs> she does purr. It's like She's really good. Rumbling. It is. She's got a really strong yeah. purr. I, I wonder wish if I can. I'm hoping. Can you hear it? I'm hoping you guys can hear it at home. If so, oof. It is so lovely. But that she does great. love to snuggle into your hands. So you'll see she just like headbutts a hand and then she'll just <laughs> roll into it. And she's a really good cat. Uh, she, she is wonderful. Are there any families that you think she wouldn't be a good fit for, or do you think top to bottom? Oh, no. I don't think so at all. Gotcha. I can't think of, can you think of anybody she might not get along with? Well, she's still at that age where she can still ad adapt to dogs yeah. or um, children or anything any like that. Any other cats. So, you know, she's so young, she hasn't really established a, a fixed personality yet. Yeah. yeah. And so how energetic she is now, I mean, two, three years from now, it could, could change just because as she gets older, the personality. Exactly. Right. Well, like, you know, we've talked about before how they're like kids. You know, what a child's like when they're five is not going to be what they're like when they're 20. Yeah. <laughs> you and know? sometimes, you know, you're loud and annoying when you're a kid, and then you're like me, you just never kind of change. And so that sometimes well, that's the case. I'm just kidding. Self-deprecating. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the best Some kind of us get louder <laughs> yeah. as we get older. <laughs> how much, if somebody wanted to um, ad adopt her, uh, how much would she cost, and what does it include? Um, that It's covered all of her shots. It's covered, um, you know, she's good. she just got fixed recently, um, and I think she's 70. Seven, I think that's oh, right. oh, sorry, for some reason I thought 70 years old. She's 70 years old. Yeah. She actually looks really good for her age. It's, it's her wrinkles are holding up really well. It's a Benjamin Button situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we so. do this Saturday, um, Saturday the 30th, from noon to four at Tailspin, there is a fundraiser for making Purrs and Paws. That's a dog wash. So bring out your dogs, get your dog washed. Um, I know that's something we don't really like to do ourselves. They can be a pain. So come let somebody else handle it for you. The, ma um, the money does go to making Purrs and Paws. And there are also going to be kittens available for adoption. Wonderful. Thank you so much for adding that. Thank you for introducing us a little bit. Thank you. If you'd like to adopt Little Bit or one of the other kittens from Macon Purrs and Boss, you can call them at 508-7293. You can also contact them on their Facebook page to set up an appointment at facebook.com slash Purrs. And remember, you don't have to name it Little Bit, you can always name it Bob. <laughs>